Friday, the 17th of December. Yeah, I was up early to watch that result from the North Shropshire by-election. And boy, it is a bombshell. Now, look, I know it's midterm. Very often governments lose by-elections in the middle of their parliamentary term. Uh, but this is a big swing. Second biggest swing since World War II. What's interesting is it isn't just about policy. Of course, a seat that has been Conservative for 200 years, doesn't like a Tory party putting up taxes, doesn't get the net zero commitments Johnson's making, doesn't recognise much of the government as even being Conservative. I think perhaps the bigger worry for the Conservatives is a lot of this is personal. A lot of this is people have lost confidence in Boris Johnson himself. But let's be realistic. At the next general election, Market Town, North Shropshire, will, in all probability, go back to the Conservatives. But actually, they've got a bigger problem. Boris, there is worse to come. Because hours before that result was declared at 4.15, indeed at 1.30 this morning, the Dover lifeboat was called out by the Coast Guard. Following 600 people who illegally crossed the English Channel yesterday, uh, as I speak to you and it's breakfast time on Friday, already there are four boats that have been brought in to Dover Harbour. Today's figure will undoubtedly exceed 600. And this is an issue, not just in North Shropshire, but crucially in the Red Wall. And these are areas of voters who've normally been Labour. Yes, they left Labour to vote UKIP, to vote Brexit Party, but in 19, they voted for Boris Johnson in a big, big way taking back control of our borders, reducing the numbers coming into Britain was the reason they voted Brexit and the reason they were happy to vote for the Conservatives in 2019. And I promise you, this issue is going right to the top of British politics. Huge numbers of young men coming into our country. The public are furious. It is the number one issue amongst Conservative voters, the number one issue amongst Brexit voters, the number one issue amongst Red Wall voters, and it can be dealt with. An Australian Prime Minister, Tony Abbott, a few years ago, had the same problem, had courage and dealt with it. But unless the Conservatives are going to be doomed at the next election, they have to have a leader with the courage to deal with what's happening in the English Channel. And I don't think it's Boris Johnson anymore.